Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to look at something, the weather's not great today, it is raining, I want to talk about something for your wedges. So what I see a lot of times is people get into these conditions, it's raining, hit the ball into the green from around about 70, 80 yards, it skips straight through back and over the green and from there they've got a tough chip coming back. So today what I want to look at is what effect wet grass has on the spin on the ball. So I'm going to hit two shots here with the same ball, so I'm going to hit Pro V's, I'm going to hit one, two with a dry face, two with when I've had a few practice swings in the rough, the face is wet, the ball's wet, and show how that affects the spin on the ball. Because obviously from there what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to adjust where we're landing the ball. So let's say it is a 70, 80 yard shot, we might want to land it 10 yards shorter, or expect that we know it's going to run out past there. So if the danger is long, let's land it short and let it run up to the hole. So let's have a look at the numbers we're going to look at. So here's the numbers we're going to be looking at. So we're going to be looking at the dynamic loft, which is the loft that's on the club when we get back to impact, how much spin we have, what the carry was and what the total was. So we're going to start to see a pattern of how far I've hit these shots, have they gone a little bit further when the face is wet, has it not? So let's have a look. So obviously I want to make this a fair test, so I'm going to hit a couple of balls to warm up and then after each shot I'm going to clean the club face, so make sure there's no dirt on that and then dry it. So when I come in and hit those two shots with a dry club face, we'll be able to see the numbers and then after I'll have a couple of practice swings in this thicker stuff, start to show how those numbers are going to come down. So the first one I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit with a dry face, I'm also going to dry the ball. So, again these haven't been hit, so that's dry now, and the club face is dry. So we're going to see, again, 80 yard shot, what kind of numbers we get from there. So again, I'm going to give myself a similar lie every time, so a nice lie. So let's hit this one now. So good strike, came out a little bit higher than I wanted, pretty shallow so let's have a look. So first one there, we can see that we've hit that carried 79.8, so pretty much that 80 yard number that I was looking for. From there it's ran out 6 yards, but you see that we did get 7039 spins, so right in the bracket I'd expect anywhere in between 6000 to 8000 on that distance I'd be very happy with. But six yards we know that we can land that a little bit shorter so if i landed that at 75 that would have been pretty good if obviously the pin was a front pin i'd be happy landing it that distance stopping six yards behind and having a put and getting out there with a two put not sending that over the back of the green and leaving a short chip so let's now hit one with a face where it's wet and the ball's wet so here now looked at those numbers but we're going to make it fair we're going to hit two with each we're going to take it in alternate. So I'm going to now have a couple of practice swings out of the rough. So we're going to get the face, a couple of practice swings. So there's a bit of grass on there now, not much, but that's now wet. And from there, hit this shot. Good, so let's have a quick look. So we can now see on the one with the wet ball and the wet face, we can see that that actually came off a little bit quicker, so a little bit of grass in there can make that ball jump. So that's carried 86 and gone 93, so that's gone a lot further than we wanted to. We were looking to get an 80 yard carry, so it's gone 6 yards further, and then as a result from there then it's rolled out 7 yards, so we'd be off the back of the green here, especially because of that spin. So the spins quickly dropped down to 5,236 to be precise. So you can see we've lost just under 2,000 revs, which again is not letting that stop as quick. As a result, it's ran, it's carried a little bit too far, and then it'll have ran over the back of the green. So let's go back to the dry one. Again, like I said for this shot, with a dry club face and a dry golf ball, I'd be hoping to get somewhere between six to 8,000, which again, we're then going to be able to send that in and stop it pretty quick. So dry club face now and dry ball. little bit long. 
So here we've got the dry one again. Again, this swing was a little bit faster, so it has carried now 89 yards. As a result, because the speed was a little bit quicker, the dynamic loft was a little bit less, so it's got more spin. So it's got nearly 8,600, which is what I'd expect from that little bit further. But we can now see how, because I've got the loft a little bit better, there was a little bit more speed and it has gone a little bit long, but it has finished, stopped up within four yards of it carrying. So it stopped at 93. So you can see there, a lot more spin. It's going to get it stopping a little bit quicker. So it's only a few wedges I've hit this morning, so it is a little bit long, but that was just because of the speed. But you can see how that makes a massive difference on the spin rate and the stopping ability. Let's go to the final one now with the wet club and the wet ball. So here we can really see that the spin rate has dropped. So again, that club head speed was a little bit quicker. The dynamic loft's gone a little bit higher, so it skidded on that face where it had obviously had water on there and it had grass. As a result, it's carried pretty much the same as the last shot I hit with the dry face, but it's gone and ran out 10 yards. So not only has it carried too far, but then it's also ran 10 yards. So it'd now be definitely off the green and be chipping back from around about 40 feet. So leaves ourselves a lot more chance of getting a bogey. So again, just drying that club face after the practice swing could really help us get that a little bit closer, guarantee it on the green and save some shots. So guys, not a long video there, but hopefully that's something that's gonna help improve your short game, give you a bit more thought when you're over the ball. If it's wet, if you took a couple of practice swings, dry the club face off. Something as little as that might save you two shots around. If it stops you going over the green, you're not having a chip, from there hopefully you two put so it can really save you especially in the wet conditions again the end of the week it looks like it's going to be 20 degrees or above so think about it when you're into the winter start thinking about where you're landing that ball so like we did on the course management on friday i'm plotting my way around so i'm starting to think right if i'm in the rough if it's wet i know there's not going to be as much spin i can dry my club to help it but i'm still going to be looking at landing it probably 10 yards shorter if it's a short-sided flag we're obviously then thinking, okay, I might just land it at the pin and let it run out. There should be some more green to work with. So hopefully I'll be able to show you that out on the golf course soon. Again, play a couple of shots, one out of the rough where it's wet, one out of the fairway, so to show how it reacts on the green. Again, it's all right hitting it down the driving range, but I want to show you how it will react on the green, how much more control we'll have, and how that's going to help you. So guys, thanks for watching there. Tomorrow I'll be back, but we're doing another Tech Tuesday. I'm going to be looking at the raised string line, so something you can get off Amazon. Again, not a great cost, but something that you can put down on the putting green, spend 10, 20 minutes doing, and help you improve your putting stroke, help you see what patterns might be causing you to miss putts, and hopefully get you holding more putts. I'll see you then.